The Library on the Loose Summer Outreach Program from the Hillsborough Library shares early reader books with young readers at numerous local parks. While reading more than a dozen books to Hillsboro children, each event also offers tailored art lessons by Golden Road Arts based on each book. Visit the Hillsboro Library website for complete schedules or check with the goldenroadarts.org website or on Facebook for updates and cancellations. Welcome to Golden Road, this is Barbara Mason and today we're going to uh, do a fun, another fun project but I also want to talk about our brand new um, Art of the Art Bear coloring book. And so we had a coloring book last year, but this year we have a new and improved version that has even more pages in it. And so we have some of the original designs and then we have some of the designs from the lessons. So this design right here is from a tunnel book lesson. And then we have um, a design here that's uh, all children doing a big chalk painting of Artie. And then a little further back, we've got um, a Frida Kahlo design. So um, there's lots of new designs in our coloring book. And if you want to get a coloring book, hopefully you'll uh, join us in the library this summer. We're partnering with um, the Hillsboro Public Library, Library on the Loose program. And we're going to be at 16 different parks. So if you look on our website or on the library's website, or even on our Facebook page, you'll be able to find out um, where Golden Road Arts is going to be. So. Um, this um, project that we're going to do is a paper bag puppet. And so when you put your hand in the puppet like this and you open the front of the puppet, right away you've got a puppet that can talk to you. And these are very, very easy to do. And the best thing about them is they have googly eyes. So these googly eyes are um, very, very popular with kids. Everybody likes googly eyes. So what we have done here is we have actually made a couple of templates one for the bear and one for the owl. And, um, and hopefully we're gonna do some more of these and we'll put them on our, eventually put them all on our website. And so all you have to do is cut these out of color paper and you'll be able to um, use any colors you want and make a bear and, and also an owl. And so um, I already have these cut out here and this is just construction paper. So we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna do our ears. So we have uh, our famous, uh, glue. I really like um, I really like this glue because it's so easy to use and you don't spill it. It's pretty hard to spill it. So we're going to put our ears on and then we have a centerpiece of our ear that's pink for the inside of the ear. We'll get our other ear on the other side. This is pretty easy. I think it, uh, you could be pretty young and still do this successfully, but even older kids like doing this. I mean, puppets are something that people like at every age. Even when you're grown up, you like puppets. Gives you an opportunity to be somebody you're not. You put your hand in there and you start talking for the puppet. And so this mouth, we're going to do this in a way so that this part of the mouth comes over the part where the bag opens like this. So. You want to be able to make it look like his mouth actually opens when, the, when you lift up the inside of the bag. And then we have a little heart here for his nose. And then the bottom of his mouth is right here. This would be like your chin. So we got a little bare chin we're going to stick on right here. We're going to make sure it goes underneath his where it opens right there. Then we've got his hands. Everybody needs little paws. This is a cute little bear puppet. And you can see that I've already got one done here. So you could make these out of any colors you want. You know, we chose colors that looked an awful lot like a bear and um, an owl, but you could actually do any colors you want. Now when you put the eyes on, these are googly eyes and they're heavy. They're a lot heavier than paper, so the best way to glue them is to use stronger glue. And so this glue we're going to use is called tacky glue. It's sort of like Elmer's glue except it's just a little thicker.
It's the reason they call it tacky. I think it's tacky because it, um, it's so thick that it sticks right away. You don't have to wait for it to stick. So there we have our little paper bag puppet. You could make um, bears out of all different colors and you could have um, a teddy bear picnic of your very own. Does everybody know that teddy bear picnic song? I'm not going to sing it for you. I'm not a great singer, but it's a fun song and there's actually a book about it. So on this one, we're going to do the owl. And so what we have here is we have two, two ears, two eyes, two wings, and two eye sockets, and a very pretty orange nose. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our wings. And you know, you could make these out of any colors you want. They don't have to be brown. We chose brown because it looks most like an owl. And uh, the things that we're doing are going with the books, the storybooks. And um, there's an owl in the storybook, and so we wanted it to look like the book. So I hope that you'll join us in the park. We hope that when you come that you will be able to make one of these puppets and that you will also read the book and enjoy the story. So now we're going to put our ears on. I thought the ears should go straight up, but other people thought, no, they should go to the side. So I guess you could make yours go any way you want. We actually looked at pictures of real owls, and we saw that some of them did go straight up, and some of them actually went to the side. So it just depends. Look at those great big eye sockets. Owls have very big eyes. And they have little beaks. So here's our little owl beak. This looks like it needs a little more glue here. Okay, now we're going to put our um, googly eyes on. I think googly eyes are so much fun. I mean, if you were an owl, wouldn't you want to have eyes? I guess they already do have eyes that turn around, but having these googly eyes is so fun. And you can kind of turn your owl so that his eyes go the same direction. One's going left and one's going right. That looked pretty funny, but you get them going both the same way. And then be sure to put the lid on your um, glue. So now you can actually, I'm going to let that dry, so I'm not going to pick that one up. But you can actually put your hand in your owl and you can make him talk. I don't know what owls say, but I think mostly it's hoo, hoo. This is also our bear puppet. So I think the bear and the owl are probably friends in our book. I'm not sure, but I think they are. So here's our little, our little bear. So we hope that you'll join us in the park and that you'll hear the story. Our theme this year is about the outdoors and um, you couldn't get more outdoorsy than owls and bears. My name is Barbara Mason and thank you for joining me at Golden Road Arts. And we'll see you next time.